shortly. But first, a quick introduction. My name is Ted Rowe. I am a, I'm from the States. I am a professional microbiologist and a chemist. I studied absinthe for 19 years. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Who here has been to New Orleans? A few people. Okay, great. Down on Bourbon Street in New Orleans, there is a bar called the Old Absinthe House that has been there since 1874. I walked past that bar many times working as a chemist. And then I asked a colleague of mine working in a lab, what exactly was absinthe? Do you know what this stuff was? He says, yeah, it was that green liquor that made people crazy. Okay. So being a chemist, I looked it up in my handy Merck Index, the Bible of Chemistry. And my special edition had a listing of absinthe, and it said, drinking absinthe can cause tremors, convulsions, death. Do you believe this? You do? I didn't believe it. I was very skeptical. And that was back in 19, that was in the end of 1993. I've been studying absinthe for 19 years. Okay, so we're going to start at the beginning. What exactly is absinthe? Absinthe gets its name from the plant, Artemisia absinthium, also known as brand wormwood. It has been known since antiquity as a medicine. The problem is when it was used as a medicine in antiquity, they typically use this, this, this herb in wine. It is the second most bitter herb on the planet. So if you infuse it in wine, it becomes virtually undrinkable. And legend has it that a French doctor living in Switzerland discovered that if you take this plant and you make an infusion in alcohol and you distill it, what you get is not very bitter. Ah, practical way to use medicine. Now what we're going to do, this is a field not of cannabis, but of absinthe. This field is out in France near the Swiss border. I buy some plants from the, you know, the guy who owns this field. To make absinthe, you must have absinthe. And you must have other plants as well. Traditionally, the herbs that are used in making absinthe, they can vary. But almost always, any traditional absinthe contains these three. Green anise, which is a hot seed from Mediterranean countries. Grand absinthe, of course. And sweet fennel. This is what we refer to as the holy trinity of absinthe. Every traditional absinthe contains these three herbs. And what color is absinthe? Traditionally, you recognize it as being green. Not always, but traditionally, yes. How does it get to be green? Well, that's because after it's distilled, you take the clear distillate and you make an infusion with more plants, more medicinal herbs, like petite absinthe, which is Roman wormwood, lemon balm, which, <clears throat> which is melissa, and herbs like hyssop. And just like making green tea, they make the distillate green. Now, what we're going to do 